make of this reaction to what was seemingly a pretty terrific report on yeah. hiring in America? So uh, we thought it was good, not great. Uh, so the unemployment rate ticked up, as you saw, and uh, average hourly earnings, uh, which I keep thinking are going to really take off, they didn't really take off. Uh, they're only up 3.1%. Uh, so that's why the bond market uh, is rallying a little bit. So it's, it's sort of a Goldilocks report. Uh, but I, I agree with Steve. The economy is in a really good position when you take all the other indicators we have, like unemployment claims, another jobs measure. Uh, the employment data are good, and the economy is, is doing fine. But this, this report uh, is uh, more of a slow and steady, good but not great. But isn't good but not great Goldilocks actually good for the markets? Because it suggests Absolutely. the economy's growing, but Fed's not going to be in any rush to, to tighten policy. Right. It's just interesting so, that today is the day for the pullback. So I think the, I think the pullback uh, is really still a worry about the virus. Uh, and we have uh, GDP growth. Our team has GDP growth at zero in the first quarter. And we survey about... Uh, 21 companies, or we surveyed 21 companies in China, and that survey uh, dropped this week about two points to just uh, 41. So it's, it was as high as 70 uh, in years past. So uh, China's really slowing, uh, and that worries people uh, for sure. But I think there's still a lot of momentum here, and there's also, I'd like to point out, there's a lot of liquidity in the system. Money's everywhere. Mm -hmm. You said zero growth, zero GDP growth for China this quarter? Yeah, in the first, first quarter. I heard, I heard you mention a J, JP Morgan at one. So I think that's the right spirit of it. So a, a lot of American companies, especially if you are in luxury retail, have been warning that this is going to hurt results. Just the latest this morning is Canada Goose. The stock is getting punished. They make $1,000 parkas. China was a key market. They took down the forecast to negative. From, it was supposed to be uh, earnings growing 25% this year, now declining. They say retail stores and e-commerce across greater China have and continue to experience significant reductions in revenue. They take down their revenue forecast as well, Ed. I mean, how hard is this going to hurt the American economy? So I don't think it's going to have that much impact on us. I know it's a little hard to believe, but uh, we are so solid. Uh, but... Uh, as they say, it's, it's, not, it's not the virus, it's the treatment that matters. So people aren't going out, they aren't shopping, uh, and that's what's hurting, particularly in China. But uh, the data here in the States, not just the employment data, which is for January, but we survey companies every week uh, and into February. That's still strong. Uh, I mentioned unemployment claims. We survey temp and permanent employment agencies. They say business is still very solid. Consumer confidence is still very solid here. So, uh, so far, uh, the virus is more over there, and right, what but, is... But, Ed, Ed if, if, if they print a zero percent, they have no growth whatsoever in China in the first quarter, you're, you don't think that's going to have an impact on our economy? They'll have some, but uh, if you... This is a little bit overdone or overworked, been plowed too much, but if you look back at this, at uh, 2003, when they had the SARS... Uh, the U.S. economy actually accelerated during the SARS. A lot of differences, uh, but I'm just telling you at, at the moment. I mean, this is a lot bigger than that, and obviously the Chinese economy is now squarely number two. It wasn't even close back then. I, so I don't disagree. a lot of differences between now and 03. Well, I tell you, the, uh, in 03, if you bear with me, uh, it was, uh, the economy was very weak in 03, and today the economy is very strong. Uh, you also have a huge amount of monetary stimulus uh, in the system. And, you know, I'm shocked, but there's still no inflation. Uh, so I'll watch it like a hawk. Uh, but uh, I think growth will be something like two and a half percent this year. Uh, Ed, uh, Kudlow's on the tape and obviously agrees with you. He's saying he sees, quote, absolute minimal impact on the economy here uh, from the coronavirus. At the same time, he's saying he wouldn't mind a bolder Fed uh, and a rate cut. How can he ask, how can he say both things at the same time? The uh, well, first, there's the idea of, of insurance, uh, you know, because it, it could be worse and you could have a better economy uh, like he's forecasting 3 percent growth. And so if you were to, if, if you want to have a better economy, you could get the Fed to ease. Uh, but uh, uh, he has a bit of a political job there as well as an economic job.
Yeah, we know the president wants it as well. I just wanted to hit the, the minus 12,000 jobs in manufacturing because it, it does feel like this is the shaky part of the U.S. economy. What's your outlook? Is, is manufacturing out of recession in this country? And I guess you think the economy can continue to do well without that. So I'm not sure, Sarah, on that. Uh, I'm very fluent in this topic, and the data right now is bad on manufacturing. We survey cap goods companies. That went down, went down with our China survey. The rig count's going down. Uh, rail car loadings are weak. Uh, we do a trucking survey. That's been weak. Uh, then you come around to the front of the economy, uh, and that's strong. Things like uh, higher education, uh, health care, entertainment. Uh, those are all new, new tech. Those are all doing quite well. And when I travel around the, the U.S., which I do a lot, uh, city after city I, vi I visit is doing really well. Uh, but it's nothing to do with manufacturing. I'd also point out that mortgage rates are making new lows and housing is having a nice run up uh, right now as a bit of an offset to manufacturing. But uh, I'm not sure if manufacturing, I thought it was bottoming a few weeks ago, but... Uh, Right now, uh, I think the bottom might be a few months in front of us.